Hey, this is Mikey with a, another After Effects tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how I created this cool animation with just my iPhone and all about a new piece of software called Trackfinger. So this is the piece of software I want to talk to you about and in this video I'm going to kind of show you what the software is. I'm doing a review of the software. Um, it's for iOS, so iPhone, um, iPad, and then I'm also doing a giveaway. So I've been back and forth with this company talking about doing a giveaway. They've been doing some updates. They've got a brand new update, version 1.2.5. It's got some cool features where you can play back and be able to see what you're doing on the phone or on the iPad. What Trackfinger is, it's an iPhone or an iPad app and it will able to recognize multi-touch and you can basically track your fingers as it's scaling and swiping and doing all the things you would do on an iPad or an iPhone and it takes all that information and it brings it into After Effects. So if you've ever used Motion Sketch uh, like I have down here in the corner where you just click start a capture and you move and click and drag your mouse around. It's, it's like that, but so much more powerful. Also, in addition to doing multi-touch and be able to capture your finger movement that way, it can capture the accelerometer, the pitch and the tilting of your phone or your iPad, which is pretty cool. Now, I didn't want to do a typical video with this. I wanted to do something different. So what I did was I literally took my iPhone I stuck it down on my desk on my mouse pad. I flipped the mouse pad over so I had the rubber facing up and so it wouldn't move around. And I just took my two fingers and I just made them fight right on the phone. Just hit them and hit them and hit them and hit them. And then what you do is you just email that to yourself. And your email looks about like this. Comes in here, it shows you, okay, there's a resolution of the screen that I did the track on. There's how many seconds. It even tells you how many fingers you used, and it gives you two tracks here. And when you double click on these, it's a text file. It looks about like this. Lots of information, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, what do I do with this? But it's really easy. I'm going to just take this text file, select everything. So just command A for select all. I'm going to copy that. Then I come over here into After Effects. Let me go ahead and just create a new composition and I create a new null object and I'm going to just select it. I'm not going to select any properties, just select the object itself, the layer, and hit paste. And you can see, as I bring up the keyframes, you can see it moving around. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up position data and opacity. Opacity is when you start the track, opacity is set at zero, and you can see it turns to 100 when I went down and I touched the screen and started moving. Now I had picked up my finger here for a second and you can see it turned on and off. So that's the data it's giving you. Now I wanted to create something a little bit more fun than just a, a typical track. And so this is what I came up with is these two the shapes and they're fighting. And let me just show you quickly how I put this together. So I'm going to take these two null objects that I've already got the trackers placed on. I'm going to copy those and let's just put these into a new composition. So here I have these nulls and they're fighting. And remember, I just, on my iPhone, I just stuck it down on my desk and I made my fingers fight. So let's get in some new shapes. So let's grab a shape layer. Let's center that. Okay. And let's... Now grab another one, but we want a polygon tool. Center that best we can. Let's go in, center it the rest of the way. Let's come into the options, and we want that to be three. Let's make them about the same size. Let's label them triangle and circle. So I've got these right here next to my my null objects. So let's call this one triangle null circle null. And what I want to do is I want to wait, I want to scrub through my timeline until these null objects get as close 
is they're going to get. So right about there, that's probably it. So what I want to do here is that now, at this point, I'm going to move my triangle and my circle, get it to where they're touching. And now let's parent the triangle to the triangle null and the circle to the circle null. And now these are going to move and they're going to fight. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and add a background layer to this. Just a new solid. I like blue. And I'm going to go ahead and hide those two nulls so I don't see them. Now what I did here when the circle started laying the beat down on that triangle is I need to scale the triangle. So let's go into the triangle and I'm going to the triangle shape layer, not on the null. And let's go to where right about here, hit the keyframe and bring the scale down. Right about here, hit the keyframe, bring the scale down. Right about here, hit the keyframe, bring the scale down. And you can see it's kind of attacking that triangle. About there, hit this keyframe, bring the scale down. And also, my finger had kind of stopped moving at this point. If I come into the triangle null, you can see it's ran out of keyframes um, because my finger had fallen off the edge of the of the phone. So I'm going to come in here just really quickly. I'm going to keyframe this. Let's move it. And then he's done fighting. Now, what I had done, though, is I forgot to come back for the final kill. And so what I want to do is I want to about right here, I'm going to take the circle, just really quickly keyframe the position. Just there and back. And so it's going to come in and hit that triangle one last time. Keyframe the position of the triangle. And it slides right off of the scene. Okay. So now what you want to do to kind of make this feel a little bit more organic, of course, we're going to come in and add some motion blur. And what makes this cool is the flashes of light when they hit. And the sound, of course, the punching sound. But the flashes of light is really easy to do. So I'm going to grab a new adjustment layer. Let's go to Effect, Color Correction, Exposure. And let's bring that exposure up. And that's kind of, you know, we want to be mostly bright, but we still want to be able to see our, our characters. And so what, we, what we're going to do is let's kind of play through until they first hit that first time. Boom, right there. So at this point, I'm going to keyframe the exposure from zero up to about six, then back down to zero again. If I if I look at these keyframes, I'm going to hit U on the keyboard, brings up my keyframes. We can see that's where they hit, boom, like that, kind of like a flash of light. I'm just going to copy these, and then the next time they hit, I can just paste those in there. And we can just keep on doing this through the animation. Okay, so that's all the flashes of light. That's pretty cool. Now the last thing I want to show you, which is not really have anything to do with using track finger, um, but it's kind of fun to do, is to create that crazy looking color, the word fight at the beginning. So this is just set at yellow right now. Um, but I don't really care about this color here. What I want to do is I want to add an effect, color correction, tint, and let's go in and tint this 
let's go yellow, uh, maybe orange, somewhere in between. Um, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> But I want the, the text to be white because I don't want to have to worry about both of these black and the white. So let's just worry about the white. Nice bright yellow. And so I'm going to come into this. And I'm going to go into the effect down in the timeline of the tint. And this map white, I'm going to option click on the stopwatch. Let's go wiggle. Parentheses. 5 comma 5. Close parentheses and then a semicolon and you can see now it's just going to kind of really crazily cycle through the colors so then <clears throat> I can come in and let's just keyframe the opacity so it comes on and then it fades out I can even take the same the same wiggle that I, I put onto this color I can copy that. We could put it on other things. We could put it on the scale. So put it on the scale. So it's kind of it's going to be kind of wiggling as well. So that's really there is to that. Not very complicated. And again, this isn't a very complicated look. And the fun thing about this is not what I did, but how I did it. I did this on my iPhone. I made all the animations on the iPhone. I think that's pretty cool. And it's able to come right into After Effects. So that's kind of how to use Track Finger and some fun stuff you can do with it. Now let me talk about the software itself. There's pros and cons. Let's talk pros. The pros of the software, really, really cool. I love that I can just swipe on my iPhone and create some cool movements, very organic. Um, like I said, it's like Motion Sketch, which I love to use, but so much more powerful. There's lots of features. There's the accelerometer feature, which is really cool as well. And there's they've just really thought out a lot of stuff. Um, when, when you get the email, it gives you all sorts of information. And you're able to set all the stuff up in the track, in the slate. And the slate on it as well it is very handy. Now, the cons of this are these guys who created this, they're, I guess this could be a pro and a con. They're video people first, and so the app itself, it sometimes it feels a little bit buggy, but when you need it to work, it does work. It just There's some little tweaks here and there. Sometimes the buttons feel like they're not really responsive when you push on the buttons, um, but these things are being updated. They've actually been putting out lots of updates. They're very quick to do these things. Um, I've been chatting with them on Twitter back and forth, and and they were able to put out some updates uh, fairly quickly. So it's not much of a con because I know they're going to continue to update this, this program and it's going to become bigger and better as time goes on. But I just wanted to make you aware that right now the, the app is not the best app in the world as far as how it's put together and how it works. Um, and I'm sure these guys will be the first to admit that they're not these genius software developers. But what they are genius at is being able to take something that they wanted to use because they do video stuff and turn it into an app that everyone can use. So they're not out trying to make a bunch of money off this app. They want to create products that we can use to better make better videos. And I commend them for that. So if you want to win a copy of this for yourself, they've sponsored some licenses to give away to my viewers. So go over to my contest page. There's a link in the description. It'll take you. There's a video there. You can learn all about how to enter. And if you don't win, I highly encourage you to go check it out. There's also a demo. Even just download the demo and try it out. So this is Track Finger. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.